It has been raining for almost a month and today the rain stopped. The sky is blue but uh, I heard on the news that more rain is on the way but today I hope I will have a, a nice time out in Ansa Borrego. This is Santa Isabel and they have a, a restaurant uh, I think there's some kind of bakery as well and it's a popular place it's like the the stop before you you really get out in the wilderness around us we have lots of farmland people have ranches they have cows horses I saw a sign earlier they said they are selling baby goats for $200 <laughs> so if you need a goat this is the area we also have a meeting spot for the Ferrari owner club this parking lot is full of sports cars I did not expect to see that and uh, if I'm lucky they will all leave at the same time maybe I can hang out a few minutes before I'm on my way myself This guy is the leader, I don't know, he's on a motorcycle, what's going on here? A biker dude leading maybe 20-25 Ferraris. They have a hard time leaving this uh, parking lot because the traffic is simply too intense. Look at these cars. they all vanished up the street but we have more oh we have more more cars more Ferraris we have the last few and a bike do okay We are looking at uh, Julian and this would be my last stop before we hit the desert floor. You kind of need a jacket because the temperature is <laughs> down in the 40s. But it doesn't matter because the sun is shining. The elevation is about 4,000 feet and this town is famous for two things, gold and apple pie. Of course the gold rush is long gone, but it was built, you know, when uh, people did some mining up in the mountain range. And this is what we have left of town. And it looks like in every second building they are selling apple pies or liquor or coffee. <laughs> okay. 
and I can smell the apple pie. I'm not sure where it's coming from, maybe from across the street, the Julian Cafe and Bakery, built in 1872. So we have some history in town. Yeah, this is the place you are selling apple pies. And people all lining up. Look at this. It's yummy. And of course, if you need some booze, they have it. All these cars are coming from uh, Ramona and they end up right in downtown of Julian. Also around the town you find plenty of wineries and you can do wine tasting, you can buy the, the strong apple cider they have and uh, many other things. A, a lot of farm products. I guess this is the door to heaven if you want a homemade apple pie. And I have a few samples in the window. Hard to see, but still, let's give it a try. You like the apple pie, right? I love it. You do? Okay. <laughs> have a nice day. And maybe a cup of coffee since I'm uh, in the store. How about that? Six eighty-five. How about this? Uh, I'll give you time. You keep the rest. Thank you. How about that? Saves your day, right? <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> okay. No, no, you keep that. Yeah, throw it in there. You okay, I'll throw it in here. Throw it in here. Very the much. tip jar. <laughs> All right. Good, good, good. There we have it. Appreciate All right. Did you eat cream? No, no cream. Just black coffee. Just black coffee. Like a lid. I don't need a lid. It's, it's right. going to disappear quickly. Very good. Yeah, same goes. <laughs> it goes down too fast. All right. Take a look good. at this coffee. This beautiful, beautiful coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're just waiting for the apple pie. I agree with this there sign. Happy everything. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. I will enjoy it. You have a wonderful day. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. And if you want to be a human, just add coffee. How about that? <laughs> there you go. All right. I really enjoy driving in the desert, mostly because the scenery is beautiful, but also there is less traffic. We have a few cars, of course, because it's a weekend, but normally the traffic is extremely light. We are officially in Ansa Borrego. And the road is curvy for another few miles. I think I'm going to uh, leave the highway and follow this dirt road into what is called Plum Canyon. 
I have been there before and I know it's a nice place. So I will go in and start searching for spring flowers like a mile into the, this canyon. Nighttime, the temperature is down in the 40s, but as soon as the sun is up, that is changing quickly. But because it's early spring, it's not going to be crazy today. And it's just a lovely day to <laughs> investigate all the small stuff like these beautiful yellow flowers. And today, don't expect me to know any names of these. Just enjoy the colors. We are also surrounded by these Choya cacti. We have one here, another one. Don't touch them because you will pinch your fingers. Uh, it's scary. They are extremely sharp. These are smaller ones. It's like they are not blooming, but I think they are. It's just some type of bush. It's pretty. Look at these needles. They're like an inch and a half, almost up to two inches long. And if you step on one of these, ooh, that will hurt. Oh, look at the color. Look at this. But nothing, nothing yet on these barrel cacti. But you see it's coming. You can tell it's going to bloom in a week or two, maybe sooner. Blue and yellow seems to be the most common color scheme. And that's because that's the color of Sweden. The Swedish flag is blue with a yellow cross. And maybe that's why. I don't know. Yeah, you see a few white flowers in between, of course. But again, we have almost a thousand of these blue or almost purple flowers. It's beautiful. And you could easily spend a day just walking around looking for interesting stuff. If you're lucky you might find a snake. It's always great to see the desert when it's waking up from the long winter. And I would say we have a couple of months when we can really enjoy the best of the desert. When everything is coming back to life. We have a, a yellow, I'm not sure if it's a bush or if it's just a plant. Let's go closer. Wow, this is really beautiful. A 
and up from the dry sand we have some shoots coming up and it looks like they will also have small yellow flowers maybe too early because we have more growing on the side of the blooming one and this one is also blooming it's tiny and a lot of the stuff you you have in the desert is tiny there is another one right next to the cactus and I also found this one look at this little cluster of white beautiful spring flowers and I will go to the slope because the slope is all yellow so let's find out what that is about and by the way I'm in the middle of a little baby wash and when it's raining the water will come and just go all the way down to the highway and it can be extremely quiet in the desert you hear every footstep you take look at the beauty of this slope it's all yellow I like that so you can tell it's rewarding to go to the desert in the springtime absolutely Wow this is nice I found the best place this slope is perfect for many many kinds of flowers it's just unbelievably beautiful <laughs> wow it's a golden slope and the biggest problem is you need to be careful because you don't want to step on anything And these pink ones, they are less than an inch in, in height. Unbelievable. So tiny, but so pretty. The contrast between the new and fresh and the old it's 100% and it, it's matching each other this is a dead choya cactus and I, I wish I knew the name on this yellow beauty but I, I'm clueless I have no idea If this is not crazy wild, then nothing is crazy. Wow, what a nice place. And this area is full of smaller yellow flowers. Look at the new, fresh, small leaves coming out. You have many, many thousands of them. Maybe you know the name of, of these flowers. 
you can let me know because I like to learn. <laughs> yeah, I need to know what we are looking at. We also have bees and flies, you know, here and there. And they are important, of course, for pollination. There's one, I'm not sure what it is, but there's one in this uh, flower. These small white ones, you, you don't see them all over the place, you see them kind of randomly next to other flowers. And another thing you see when you walk in the desert would be a lot of jackrabbits, but they are impossible to get on video because they are so quick. We have a new shoot coming up. Looks like bamboo when it's growing. And eventually it will bloom. And this is probably from last year. It's dry now, but the new generation is coming up. I found this one. Wow! A little cactus blooming. That is so pretty. This is tiny. I would say it's like eight inches tall and small yellow flowers. Yeah, it's really hard to get close, but you probably get it, right? I made it back to the dirt road. Behind this palm tree, we have the sun, of course, but we also have the Borrego Art Institute. And it looks like they have a, a little restaurant in the corner, which is nice. People can come, check out some art, learn something, and then sit down and eat. Anyway, I will finish up today's video by the Christmas Circle Dead Center in Borrego Springs. It's really a big one. It's probably the biggest one I've ever seen, by the way. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Time for me to move on and see you next time.